Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot. I wanted to come out and try to ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure now that it's officially open to the public. And also I wanted to try some of the 50th anniversary snacks from around World Showcase. Anywho's, let's go do this. Looks like the crowds are definitely a lot smaller since the last time I was here, which was the opening night for Harmonious, and it was very busy then. I feel like this whole past week has just been a very busy time with crowds, so it's kind of nice to see wide open spaces. The weather is also very beautiful today. It's great to get out of your car and not get hit with humidity, but with a nice like gust of wind. As long as there's wind, I don't care if it's in the 90s or 100s, it's when you get that dry humidity and it's just, ugh. And uh, right now in October, I'm not feeling any of that. To join the boarding group for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, it looks like it's a little bit different than Rise of the Resistance. It actually tells you to tap refresh at one o'clock to launch joining process. And I'm like all set up in there. So uh, I guess I'm just gonna keep trying like this. I mean, I've never seen it like this before. It's totally different than Rise of the Resistance. I suppose I'm just gonna keep this screen open. It's 12.59 and we're just about 30 seconds away. As soon as it hits one o'clock, I'm just gonna hit refresh and I literally don't know what the next steps are. So I'm kind of doing this blind because I wanna see what it's like to do it. You know what I mean? If you've never seen it before. And uh, I don't know, fingers crossed, I hope we get it. Refresh, join virtual queue, bada bing, bada boom, done. Woo! Okay, that was pretty easy. <sighs> I, I have to be honest, I don't like these virtual queues. They scare me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, joining a virtual queue really gets your heart ticking. Like you feel so much anxiety, but we did get it, look at that. And uh, honestly, it's a lot easier to uh, join a boarding group for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure than it was for Rise of the Resistance. I mean, the fact that they even just say, like just hit refresh at one o'clock makes it so much easier. So if boarding groups come back to Rise of the Resistance, I really hope that they actually come back in the same way Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is. One of the things I wanted to do today was visit some of the new food and wine booths that were set to open October 1st. Initially, they had nine of them that were set for October 1st and they opened up seven of them remaining only two that weren't opened yet and I came all the way over here to see if they were officially opened and uh, I'm getting directed back to the port of entry behind this big wall used to be the Belgium booth and the Brazil booth but it looks like they just have a sign right here that says Brazil please visit Brazil near port of entry and the same thing with Belgium on the other side to visit port of entry so maybe we'll have to head over there and see what's going on introduced in 2010 I like how they have the introduction date wow that's really cool introduced in 1996 I never noticed that what a really fun detail well, I guess I'm just gonna backtrack and head back to the front of World Showcase to Port of Entry to see if those boots are there. I wish I would've known this. I kinda just thought they were gonna be there, but I like that they put up a sign because I'm sure a lot of people were looking for them. The funniest thing is, is I walked right past the Belgium booth on my way over to go to the Belgium and uh, Brazil booth. How funny is that? It's right here as soon as you come in from World Showcase. And I must have literally just walked past it and didn't realize this brand new booth right here. So we're going to have to try something. They've got beer braised beef. They've got the Belgian waffle. They've got a chilled coffee drink, uh, a Belgium Abbey Ale. Ooh, they all sound really good. So maybe we'll have to try something i mean we have to now that it's here i feel like i always get the waffles whenever i come to the belgium stand so i think this time i'm going to try the beer braised beef with the gouda mashed potatoes now i'm probably not going to like the mashed potatoes because they're going to be very good uh, uh very cheesy uh but at least i'm excited for the beer braised beef because it kind of looks like denty more take a look at that doesn't it look like Denny Moore, like beef stew? And it's got little carrots in there. And I think like maybe two tiny little things of beef. Not a lot of beef, I can tell you that. Where's the beef? And then I got myself a little six ounce Abbey to go with it. And uh, yeah, I don't think I've had this one before. So cheers. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, Belgium's known for their good beers. And oh, this is really good. 
now it's time to try some of the beer braised beef and i'm gonna try it without the mashed potatoes but then eventually we're definitely gonna have to scoop seed potato even though like i said i'm not too sure about the gouda mashed potatoes I definitely don't want any of this falling on my shirt, so I'm gonna do one of those things where you take a bite and like you, you lean back or lean in. Hi, how are you? <laughs> that was delicious, but it was so funny because somebody just walked by and saw me eating this in such an awkward position and they waved and they said hi. So I just said hi back, but I can only imagine what it looked like I was doing. In my mind, I was trying to avoid sauce falling on my shirt and uh, I just probably looked really ridiculous. I'm gonna show you guys what I look like to the person that walked by and said hello. And by the way, hello to the person that walked by but i had my beef and i had the thing like this and because it comes with some gravy whoop, i was eating it like this but i do have to say it has a little spice to it or it could be like a smoked gouda from the potatoes all right i'm gonna try the potatoes on their own right now well with the little gravy on there i call it gravy but just the stew base because it is like a stew you know you can taste a strong gouda in there i don't like gouda that much so i'm not really a big fan but i do love the whole entire beer braised beef like that is delicious now we just got to finish up the abbey beer and yeah i like the belgium i just didn't like the mashed potatoes but the beef was very very good <laughs> And here is the Brazil booth coming up and they actually turned this into a food booth It used to be a merchandise location and I didn't see this when I first walked in because I came in through the left of World Showcase but wow look at that that is really fancy that's probably the biggest food booth out of any of them it is huge here is a look at the menu not too many options for me here they do have a Brazilian seafood stew but I do see a crispy pork belly I wouldn't mind trying it comes with black beans tomato and onions they have a cheese bread and then a MIA beer company Limo Lager so I might do the lager and the crispy pork belly so I ended up getting the pork belly and the lemon lime beer how fancy is that it's like the sprites of beer and I think I'm gonna try it right now that's good I mean I love like Bud Light Lime and this is like really good this is probably like now gonna be my favorite beer of the festival actually I did like the green tea beer that's over at the noodle exchange but oh no no the pumpkin spice latte beer is my favorite beer here I almost forgot about it but nothing's gonna top that one but this comes in at a close second and here is the pork belly you can see lots of black beans under there oh it's definitely crispy because you can hear that little I don't know if I can repeat it oh there it is do you hear that I don't know if I'm gonna have to grab a knife to cut this oh no no I can grab I can definitely just like scoop it out a little bit oh wow this looks so good holy moly we're gonna try a little bit of everything in one bite a little bit of the black beans and the tomatoes and onions mm, wow look at this that is so so good i love the black beans too i was a little hesitant but they mix very well together and it's enough for like three bites it's not that big it's kind of like that big and uh yeah i like it out of both of the boots though i feel like belgium is the better booth i mean for me wise because i like waffles and i like beer braised beef uh the only thing i really could gotten from here is just this pork belly i, I don't like the cheese bun that much and uh seafood stew is not my favorite either so i'll have to stick with the pork belly but the best thing to come out of the brazilian booth is this lemon lime beer seriously number two beer out there very good much too good finish it right up and then we're gonna move along as we make our way back around epcot i want to point out the new epcot map look at this epcot neighborhoods world celebration world nature world showcase world discovery water buildings you are here i actually like the way the map looks but what do you guys think give me back your feedback about the epcot neighborhoods i mean i'm a little sad to say goodbye to future world oh look guardians of the galaxy cosmic uh rewind is on there already wow spaceship earth I like how they actually still have a little spaceship. That's really cool. I actually like this map. I like the way it looks, but I'm just not too sure how I feel about that. 
Now I think we're just gonna keep moving along, like I said, and maybe do a ride. And I was thinking Frozen Ever After. I haven't rode it in a while, and it's a great ride to actually cool off to. And uh, I think the wait time's only like 40 minutes, so I think we're just gonna hop right on over. And I also ran into some family from out of town, and we're gonna uh, ride Frozen together. It was nice to actually ride Frozen. I feel like I haven't rode it in a while, but maybe I just rode it like a month ago. But it's always nice to go in there, like I said, it cools you off. You do get a little wet, especially if you sit on the sides. If you sit in the middle, you're pretty good. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna actually make our way back around World Showcase. I came back to the map because I wanted to show you this strange journey that I did here at World Showcase and I have never been this backwards before. So we came in to Epcot, we walked into World Showcase and we came down here looking for the Belgium and Brazil boots. So we walked all the way over here to the France and Morocco pavilion and then when we found out they weren't there we walked back all the way over here to the front to actually here and then we ended up at the map and then all the way over to Norway to go right frozen and now we're gonna actually head back on over to Remy's Ratatouille adventure it was a little adventure around World Showcase and it was fun because I got to run into Morgan and Christian and ride Frozen but uh, like I said we're kind of just going like ding 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 and now we're just gonna make our way back to where we initially came in and went to as we make our way back over to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, I do want to stop and get a celebratory sips. Over here at Joffrey's, they have the Golden Stardust, a creamy wild berry aki frappy topped with whipped cream and iridescent sprinkles. Sounds like it could be refreshing, but also I'm a little worried that it might be super thick. We'll find out. I mean, I kind of want something nice and refreshing, and I definitely don't want one of these donuts. If I was to get a donut, I would get one at the food and, uh, the food and wine stand because the donut box makes the their donuts fresh like right inside there and the golden stardust isn't the only celebratory sips that you can get at the joffrey stand they actually have 50th anniversary coffee here too and they were selling 50th anniversary cake cups in the different shops i did get a couple of those and i think they're in your resort so if you're staying in a resort with a keurig you get 50th anniversary cake cups how cool is that there's the 50th anniversary coffee right there. The 50th anniversary blend. And here is the Stardust. Wow, right? I mean, the whipped cream's probably gonna be like a little bit heavy, but take a look at the sprinkles on there. This is super nice. Actually, I think I might like this a lot. We're gonna give it a taste here. It's good. It's creamy. It's not really light and refreshing. It is refreshing though, because it is like a, it's like a creamy slushy. Like, I don't know how to else put it, but I like it. It has really good flavor to it. Very good berry. Yeah, I could do this. I can get another one of these if I wanted to. It tastes exactly like the strawberries and cream cream savers. Right there, I had to pull up a picture because I don't know if they make these anymore, but 
it tastes just like a liquid version of those and I like it. It kind of gave me a nostalgia feeling because I used to actually have these all the time when I was younger. My grandma used to always give them to me. So very fancy. Don't drink it fast though because you're going to get brain freeze. I had to find out the hard way. And brain freeze and like the heat is a little difficult because like you kind of want to keep on drinking it but it hurts so bad so you're like... Normally these drinks actually tend to like get worse as they melt but this is getting better like shockingly right it's losing that creamy texture and it's just tasting like a delicious berry drink so yeah I mean kudos to this actually at first I was like yeah it's okay but now I'm really liking it I'm really digging it and now we have made it back to Ratatouille and it's so funny because the last time I was here was for the annual pass holder preview So you actually had to scan to walk any farther than this and now it's just open to the public You can just kind of stroll in very cool And I noticed they have the boarding group sign over here that tells you uh, when the boarding groups are and isn't that amazing That I got a one o'clock boarding group and I'm only just a couple of groups away from my turn like that is so it's going by so fast one of the things I was not expecting was a super long line after you get your boarding group and that's what it looks like. Honestly, I don't know how long the wait would be because they don't have a posted wait time for your return to boarding group, but this is going to be longer than any Rise of the Resistance lines that I've ever waited in. Right here is the return sign and the line is just going all the way down and then queuing up down here. Now when I came for the annual pass holder preview, uh, I kind of just was like walking on and uh, they didn't have any like special like return time or anything like that. Look, the queue's full up over there. Wow, this is going to be intense. Holy moly. Also be careful because they do have two separate lines here. One of the lines is for the photo pass or the photo opportunity. Look at that. That is fancy, right? I like it. And that's actually a very long line too because it's a popular photo spot. I totally forgot that a part of the queue was coming in and then going back outside. So we've already scanned in, but now we're going back outside and that was the huge line that I showed you earlier. I wish they had a sign to let you know how long the wait time was for the virtual queue. Uh, I don't think uh, Rise of the Resistance ever had a wait time either. Sometimes it could be a walk-on, other times you could be looking at like an hour wait. I ran into Veronica and her mom and we asked if we can ride together and they said yes, but it goes to the highest boarding group number. So in the past you used to be able to like add family together on boarding groups and they kind of do that too, but whoever has the, the later one, that's the one you have to ride at. So it's always the latest boarding group, not the earliest. So just to let you know, because actually it's a little bit different from Rise of the Resistance. My second favorite wallpaper definitely has to be this Remy and Emil wallpaper. First being the Haunted Mansion, but take a look at this. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. Anyone can cook. <laughs> also, Gusto always has different things when you're walking through here. So it's a different show each time. Now I was hoping to catch something special, but looks like we're about to go in. I'm gonna miss it. Come to life. Be an inspiration to me. Come on, Gusto. Any second now, I can feel it. I can feel Gusto in the air tonight. Nope. Sad French music. <laughs> Gotta grab the glasses. These are all fancy and brand new. Look how clean and pristine they look. I think I'll take this one right here. Yes, that'll do. Oh, we got fresh ones coming in. Wait time was just about 30 minutes, so that's not bad at all. It looked longer than it was. Oh, we got this little guy right here. <laughs> Last time I rode this ride, it broke down and we got to ride again. And that would be nice if it happened again. I, mean, I wouldn't mind riding it twice. Chimney, chim chim chiroo. We want a Mary Poppins ride too.
Oh yeah, right here. Hey guys, the photo is for them, not you. <laughs> that was a fun ride and it still actually ranks up there and adds to my already impressive list of best smelling rides at Epcot. It takes the, the cake. Bread part? Yeah, you can smell them cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, and yeah. all of Epcot's rides have the best smells to them. They have the most variety of rides with smells in them. That's all I'm saying and I love it. Ride smell. Yeah. What is your favorite? Rome Burning. Okay. Or Pirates. Pirates. Yeah, so you know what I mean those two, but most of them are here in Epcot on our way out It looks like Mary's meeting and greeting guest and it's nice to see more characters out and about and Disney just announced some characters are coming back indoors So it's really exciting including Mickey at Town Square. Isn't that awesome? I wonder if Mary will end up actually in back indoors anywhere. She really was never indoors anywhere here She's supposed to have her own attraction, which I would love to see but look at her <laughs> Awesome Bye, Mary. Thanks. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mary said I was like the birds, always telling people what's coming. And that was awesome. Isn't that so cool? I love seeing Mary Poppins. My mom does too. And I want that Mary Poppins attraction to come. I want it to actually happen. I know they already canceled it, but bring it back. <laughs> And like I said, we are making our way back out to the exit and I didn't know what to call it because it's not Future World anymore and I don't know what section is what. So like over here, is it a different world uh, discovery maybe? Not too sure. I'll have to get familiar with the names. And I think that is going to do it for me today. So much fun. I wasn't able to try a lot of the 50th uh, celebration like desserts or snacks. Most of them are in sit-down restaurants where you need to get a reservation. But I was able to try the two new food boots and also uh, one of the uh, celebratory sip drinks actually at Joffrey's and uh, got to ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. So I'll take that as a win. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.